Daddy. Ashley, Renee, Wilson, how old are you? Disorder having to do with too many chromosomes. It's a disorder to where you, um, I don't know, you don't develop in a way that a normal person should, and people get treated differently because of that. And I think that's totally wrong. And I think that it's very emotional with the families that have a child or a brother or sister or mother or father with Down syndrome because. You have to work with them in a different way, but I think it can open your eyes to a new experience. Okay, Down syndrome is an abnormality in the brain where a chromosome is misplaced with another chromosome, which would uh, cause it to have a different effect, it varies, varying on severity depending on what is out of line. This condition you're born with, it can cause, uh, it's in the brain, you can, it can cause you to lose like some bodily functions um, and have like mental problems or moving before problems moving, things like things of that sort, and it can kind of mobilize you for your life. Down syndrome, um, I think it's an emotional, mental um, thing, disorder, the illness um, that affects how a person lives and goes about their daily lives. Down syndrome is a genetic condition where a person has 47 chromosomes instead of the usual 46. People with Down syndrome usually have severe mental impairment, weak muscle tone, and flattened facial profile. John Langdon Down was born on November 18, 1828. He studied medicine at Royal London Hospital and was considered one of the most outstanding students in his class. Down first observed Down syndrome as a special kind of mental disability. Even though he only observed the symptoms, the discovery of Down syndrome is mostly credited to him. Um, the challenges would be constantly having to watch her. She has to have um, constant supervision and everything to make sure she's safe. Um, she doesn't know a lot of right from wrong. She knows a lot of things are wrong, but she there's you know has to constantly be be watched. Really, no challenges. You just treat her like everybody else, just like anybody else. Just you have to watch her more. She has she has to be heard or nothing. My favorite memory with her would be jumping on the trampoline when we had one when I was like ten years old. She would get on there and we'd just jump around and have fun and she was a little baby. She was talking good then and she was quick talking. So I guess that's part of the down syndrome. She lost her speech more. But she still understands everything you say to her. She just can't speak very well. <clears throat> the day she was born. It was. It was just it was wonderful. We had no clue that we were having a Down syndrome baby. Um, we had no test. And I was 23 years old, and most Down's babies are born to women over 40. So uh, there was no testing. They, it was just wasn't, you know, it, not even a possibility. Well, I guess it's a possibility, but, you know, the day she was born. The births of children with Down syndrome increases with the age of the mother. 80% of children with Down syndrome are born to women under 35 years of age. 
The life expectancy for people with Down syndrome has increased dramatically in recent decades, from 25 in 1983 to 60 today. We have more respect for handicapped people. Yeah. Because you know what their needs are. They're special people. Having a sister with Down syndrome is amazing. Like, it's hard sometimes going out in public when people stare and judge her and just are rude. It's really hard to keep a self control over that but other than that it's amazing to have a Down syndrome sister. I treat Ashley the same as I do my other siblings. I have um, two brothers and another sister. Although we I do treat her the same but I do treat her differently at the same time because Ashley is a little bit on the heavy side. I try to be like a mom to her kinda just you know help her do things that she's unable to do by herself and teach her things that she don't quite understand and I'm, I'm a lot nicer to her <laughs> than I am with my other siblings but overall I'm I treat her the same. The complications of having a sister with a Down syndrome is that when you see other other people who have bigger sisters who you know, do their hair and hand me down clothes and stuff like that. And I think that's the only thing that really, that I, w I probably would miss. But like I said, I wouldn't change my sister for the world. She, I'm glad to have her in my life just the way she is. was awesome. We got Ashley started in PEP when she was probably um, first or second grade and there's just such, even with the regular TC Robertson kids, there was such acceptance of them and um, they went on field trips. She's made some awesome friends. So it was, you know, it was just more, instead of just an education, they worked on everyday skills and it, it was an awesome experience for her and for all of us. Yeah. Yeah, she went to, where was that? T.C. Robertson. T.C. Robertson. They have special needs classes out there for kids, for handicapped kids. She's uh, one of the best in the state. The Progressive Education Program, also known as PEP, is located at the T.C. Robertson High School. It serves students with moderate to significant intellectual disabilities, serving students from all over Buncombe County through a system-wide collaboration among parents, teachers, students, and the community. The Progressive Education Program seeks to help all students achieve and realize their potential and their greatest level of independence. The exact causes of the chromosomal rearrangement and primary prevention of Down syndrome is currently unknown. There is wide variation in mental abilities, behavior, and physical development in individuals with Down syndrome. Each individual has his or her own unique personality, capabilities, and talents. <laughs>